Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup Tarot, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and doing everything you need to do to embody your soul's purpose during the current human experience. These are going to be the Venus reads. So these readings are all things love related. I don't want you to limit yourself to thinking only about your romantic relationships because this could be self-love, healing, um, embarking on a new journey and learning um, things that you're very passionate about. It could also be energies regarding your family members, friendships, and even coworkers. So for today, I'm going to do the Venus placement in Leo. So if your Venus is placed in the sign of Leo, this reading is for you. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with you and that's okay. I'm doing two spreads, past, present, and future for you and past, present, and future for the other side of the coin, meaning uh, it could be another individual, divine counterpart, uh, an endeavor, um, just any other energies going on in your current experience. Okay, so I'm going to actually, oh, wrong deck. I'm going to start um, with you, Venus and Leo. And I do think this is a beautiful placement. If you have your Venus and Leo, I definitely think it's, you're like fiercely loyal, you know, and you probably, um, you know, you might hang on to people a lot. You know, you feel like, um, I think Venus and Leo definitely is one that is, extremely generous, but you also expect others to be extremely generous to you, right? Um, so we're going to see what comes out with you guys in the uh, recent past. Uh, I don't read reversals, but if the cards flip out reversed onto the table, I'll take them that way. Otherwise, I just take them um, in the upright position. So we have the seven of uh, wands coming out here. So this is fire energy, your energy, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, defending yourself here. So if there's some kind of altercation going on where you're accused of something, um, are you having to like defend your integrity? I'm not sure. We're going to obviously get more cards to see what's going on here. You have the three of pentacles. So this could uh, definitely have been uh, regarding a work situation or some kind of collaboration. Three of pentacles is uh, working with others. This also sometimes can relate to spirit, um, like you um, so you someone else and like uh, higher energy, like a higher power. In this case, I'm, I'm definitely getting that it's all 3D. It's all human interaction. Something went down within a group. Could be coworkers, could be family, could be a group of friends. The higher fin, okay. So this definitely could be, um, yeah, this could be family. Higher fin, uh, it's a card of Taurus represents um, values, beliefs. Oftentimes it's seen as a marriage card, um, but it's just, it's not just marriage. You know, it's like family life, like um, doing things by the book, you know, traditions, things like that. And that's in your present energy. I mean, I'm sorry, in your future energy, your present energy was the three of pentacles, past is seven of wands. So maybe you um, have kind of striked out on your own, kind of blazing your own trail here. And it's against what um, the family has expected you to build for yourself. Um, kind of goes against the grain a little bit in terms of like who is in your sphere of influence. All right, so energies, too many flipped out here. Energies for this other, um, this other energy, this other situation, these people. I'm getting that there might be more than one person here. Definitely. All right, the justice card. So, um, so this could be a family situation or a relationship. Um, I am getting family, like multiple people, but it could be a relationship and other people are interfering, like families interfering in the relationship. Um, and I'm getting that number one, the Hierophant card came out. Sometimes that's seen as, a, as the marriage card. And now we're getting justice, which is sometimes also related to relationships because it's the number 11. Uh, 11 is the number of the soulmate twin flame number. One, one. So it's in the recent past energies of this other person. They may feel like you are doing something unfair to them. Um, you're being a little selfish in your aspirations, maybe leaving them out and they're looking to get balance. You know, they want to get some fairness in this relationship. Yeah. Page of cups in their present position. So they're offering you a lot of compassion and love, maybe trying to talk it out, have conversations with you, seeing how they can be more involved in what it is you have going on. Um, Leo is a very um, ambitious sign. And if you know, for Venus is in Leo, you probably are like, you might pursue things um, 
like with a high level of independence. Leo is also a fixed sign. So once you want something, you're determined to get it, <laughs> no matter like what the, the high cost is. And you know, even if this is kind of disrupting a relationship, like you're, you're set on getting it, whatever this thing is. I'm um, getting that it's some kind of endeavor that you're after. Yeah, queen of wands. This is this a uh, person's future energy, but I get that this is how they're seeing you. They're seeing you kind of as a queen of wands, just kind of sitting on your own throne, not even worried about like building the a life or you know a home space with them. It's kind of like you're just like pursuing something on your own, like because you know you started off with kind of like warding people off. The three of pentacles came up, so. Other people are getting involved in what it is you're doing. Pentacles energy is earth energy. Virgo, Capricorn, um, Taurus. And then we got a Taurus, another earth card, Taurus, the Hierophant. Um, so in your uh, future energies. So you may be considering like, do you want to stick to your old values and beliefs or kind of strike out on your own, do things differently? This person is thinking that you are striking out on your own, doing things a lot more independently. Um, they want to offer you like compassion and love. They're there, you know, they're there to support you, but they see you as like this fierce, independent individual. None of these cards are gender specific. Um, and bottom of the card of, of the deck is a four of pentacles. So like kind of holding on to something, you could be like saving your own money. Uh, maybe this is a situation where like you are like investing a lot of your own time and money into something. And yeah, this person wants to be involved and you're like set on just doing everything on your own. Um, so let's get clarifiers for everything out so far. Clarifying the seven of wands is the emperor. So this is the card of Aries. Sitting in your own truth, graceful leadership, um, just a sense of knowing who they are. You know, the emperor is not about playing any games. They're kind of like, you know, they they're it's dominant energy but it's just like um what's the word i'm looking for it's like everybody who sees the emperor knows that they can't mess around with him they can't play with him and this clarifies the seven of wands so maybe somebody tried to like take you for a fool maybe somebody tried to like um undermine your capabilities and here you are standing in your truth like the emperor it's also fire energy it's your energy Yep, clarifying this uh, three of pentacles is the five of wands. So more conflict, but more so like you're up leveling. You know, you're learning something new. You're kind of, you might be ascending. You might be ascending to a higher version of yourself. And it's like all these people who are accustomed to seeing you a certain way, doing certain things are getting like really disturbed, right? And um, you, don't, you don't care. <laughs> Leo, you're not worried about it. I, my moon is placed in Leo, so I definitely can get... Um, I get the vibes that Leo has a lot, you know, that fierceness, that fixed energy of just being determined and building and um, yeah, not really worried about what conflicts come up because it's like, you know what you're here to achieve. Um, you know what you're here to do. Yep. Eight of swords clarifies the Hierophant. So it's like, you might be uh, just thinking a lot about how people are being affected, even though you're fixated on getting your desired outcome. You might be ruminating on things people are saying about you, that, you know, people could be gossiping about you, maybe making fun of you. If this is like an idea that seems a little outlandish or yeah, like I said, it just isn't like anything anyone in your family or like in your sphere of influence is doing. So it's kind of like you're a black sheep and this is kind of causing you to go into like a self-imposed mental prison because like there, there's no one speaking life into you at this time. There could be just a lot of chatter and motion around keeping you in place or putting down whatever it is that, um, that you have set your sights on. Okay. But I don't want you to feel disempowered, Leo. Um, your Venus is placed in Leo. So this is the thing that's going to just not only bring about love and like beauty in your life and comfort. This is like going to be about your prosperity too. Excuse me. I do think the Venus placements are linked to how we obtain prosperity and abundance in our life. Okay. Clarifying this justice card is a two of swords. So this person, um, swords energy is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's clarifying this justice card. So, and it's a two. 
here and um, the justice card is 11 one one so this tells me that this person might be thinking about whether or not this relationship will stand the test of time what are they gonna do um, they know they love you they want to be you know in union with you but they're thinking that you just aren't about that um, so they could be just like weighing their options in terms of like moving on or um, yeah sticking it out with you they have the Knight of Wheels here. And this deck, Wheels, is Pentacles. So the thing with the Knight of Pentacles is it's clarifying this Two of Cups. It's slow moving, though. This Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in this deck. Um, and it's clarifying this Page of Cups. So this actually brings another aspect into the reading here. I think this person may be a slow moving, um, yeah, slow moving person. Like, energetically speaking like you might think of an idea you want to get going like you have all the resources you have the connections and this person is sitting here taking their good time not because they don't trust you or they don't believe in it but it's like the knight of pentacles wants to make sure all the t's are crossed all the i's are dotted and they want to make sure everything is in place it's earth energy it's very practical down to earth grounded stable so they're not just going to fly off and start taking action. Like that's more fire energy. That's your energy. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, maybe even an air sign because we do have some swords energy, the justice card. That's a card of Libra. So um, yeah, but I'm definitely getting that this may be an earth sign uh, with possibly some air in their chart. So this person's moving slow. They love you. They want you to slow down, but they see you kind of as this like fierce you know, divine feminine, if, if you, if this is divine feminine, so it could be reversed. It could be, you know, this is divine masculine and the feminine is saying slow down and don't know if they can keep up. I'm seeing this as a divine feminine though. Yeah. And then we have the eight of cups clarifying the queen of wands. So this person could be moving away from you because they no longer see the relationship as it is now as emotionally fulfilling because they feel like they can't keep up. They feel like, um, you know, no matter how many cups they offer you, you aren't really returning that because um, you're, you're steady worried about your own cups. See, look, the bottom of the deck is nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment and um, emotional um, abundance within yourself, though. The ten of cups would have been like family, community, uh, partnerships. But this nine of cups here is telling me that you're worried about your yourself right now. You're worried about being emotionally fulfilled, kind of going against the grain, following your passion. Um, and it's, you know, your relationship is just not, it's, it's not that you don't care about the person. It's just that your relationship isn't top priority now. And you may feel that way because it's just stable. You know, maybe you've been with this person for so long, you just feel like it's just, it's fit. It's in, you know, it's intact. It's not really going anywhere. Um, but this other person, this divine counterpart, isn't really feeling the same way. They want to bring balance and fairness back into the relationship. And balance for them means you slowing down or staying put. And you're like, nah. <laughs> so we're going to close this reading out, you guys, with um, three cards from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Yeah. So let's see what we get. It's just overall energies, outcome energies. Yeah. First one is financial and material changes. So this could be you going or like, you yourself or the relationship going from being kind of living week to week, a less scarcity mindset to a more abundant mindset. Like I think that's where you're going. This person may be still a little bit more rooted in the scarcity or like the, um, uh, maybe not scarcity per se, but it could be um, like resistance. Like they want to play it safe and you want to take risks. Um, but there are some drastic changes coming in. That's a five. Fives represent um, drastic changes in the standard tarot deck. And it's financial and material changes. Could be either way. You could take some losses or you can get some really huge gains. Um, I'm seeing some gains coming in for you, though. I just get that intuitively. The cards, honestly, don't. none, none of the cards really say that. Um, actually, they do. I lied. Yeah, so this bottom of the deck, nine of cups, and this emperor clarifying the seven of wands tells me that um, you are um, highly uh, likely to have favorable outcomes in whatever this endeavor is that you're pursuing, this change. Trapped in fear. Okay, so this is like the Eight of Swords, which I think came out, yeah, this came out over here, okay? So when cards come out twice, um, that tells me, Spirit's telling me that the, the energies are pretty dense 
in this situation. So this could be the other person here that you're dealing with, Venus and Leo, or it could be you um, in terms of like, what's going to happen if you really are successful in this feat? Like you're thinking like, how, like, am I going to continue having a beef with people? The first card out for you was a seven of wands. You're like, am I going to have to keep defending myself and standing up for myself? Am I going to be disowned by the people that are closest to me? And this could be the other person as well. Am I going to lose this relationship if my divine feminine moves on, um, pursues what it is she wants to do? And, you know, if she is, if she is successful, am I going to be as valuable to her as I was before? It's all fear, though. But what do we know? What do we know about fear, you guys? Fear is false evidence appearing real. Okay. <laughs> It isn't real. Like the impose, like what you're thinking of is just you being trapped in your thoughts. So take a few deep breaths, okay? And um, yeah, and, and give it over to, to the spirit. Give it over to your spirit guides, your angels. They can do work behind the scenes for you. All right, let's get one more card here. Throat chakra. It's another, it's another five. All right, so definitely there might need to be a conversation, um, a very honest conversation um, that both of you need to do. Maybe you and this person, this divine counterpart, and these family member, other parties that are wanting you to slow down as well. Um, I'm getting too that some of these people might want you to marry this divine counterpart, or like they were the ones that encouraged you to get married if you already are married, and now they're trying to like like use their you know how it is in like family sometimes where it's like they're trying to like persuade you indirectly to stay in the position you're in. I, that just came to me randomly. Okay. So, but this throat chakra card um, is telling me just kind of like what I just said, like there needs to be um, you addressing these people that are interfering and then also very honestly and tactfully speaking to your divine counterpart about how you feel, what you want, um, what you expect of them. You know, if you feel like you do want them to go along with you on this journey and be involved, like just what does that mean? Like be detailed, right? And speak from the heart. You know, Leo, you're ruled by the sun. The sun rules the uh, heart and the solar plexus in the human body. Okay. So it's all about courage, being, having energy, you know, making decisions from your heart space. And that's what I think needs to come into this situation to kind of tone down the imbalance um, and, and feeling like like hot and cold i'm getting like some people are feeling cold some people are feeling hot like there's just a lot of like conflicting energies going on in this situation okay so that's what i have for you if this reading has resonated please go ahead and like give me a comment subscribe if this is your kind of thing um if you would like to see any other kind of reading or type of spread don't hesitate to let me know below i am flexible also if you're interested in getting a personal reading done i do offer uh, twin flame soulmate readings as well as soul purpose readings and um, soul purpose tarot readings, and then also your soul purpose readings with using your astrological birth chart. Okay, so the links are for that for that are below. Um, and that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Be sure to thrive. Bye.